Hi, this is Jody from Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch, and today we are doing a quick walk around video on our absolutely lovely 2012 All Sleeper Warwick Duo. Now, this one, I say it's a 12 plate van, uh, it's in absolutely astoundingly nice condition. Previous owners absolutely cherished this van, and amongst other things, it even comes with a uh, personalized tea towel with a picture of the van on it. That's how loved this van is. So, she's a six meter van with an end lounge, a luxury two berth end lounge van conversion with six foot rear sofas that will make single beds or a large double. So, let's have a look at the window sheet. So, she's an auto sleeper, she's a Warwick Duo 2012 with an end lounge. So that's two berths, two seat belts. She's a three and a half ton chassis, so you can drive her on a normal car license. Based on the Peugeot Boxer, six speed manual with a 2.230 horsepower chain driven turbo diesel engine. It's only done 34,000 miles in eight years. That's what, 4,000 miles a year. Just under six meters, two meters wide, 2.8 meters tall, price at 33.95, which is very competitive for one of these. And it is that nice. I don't think you'd find a better one for sale today. So she's looking good in a metallic sort of light silvery gold colour. She's got Peugeot alloy wheels on there as you can see. Walking down the driver's side, auto sleeper used the Peugeot window van. She's got Peugeot factory fitted uh, tinted glass windows all the way around which looks really smart. We've got a big sliding door on the near side. And then we've got LPG sticker there. There's no gas locker on these because it's a luxury van. You get a underslung gas tank to save space. Much, much cheaper to fill up than gas bottles. You just fill it up at a petrol station at home or abroad. Easy peasy, very cheap. On the roof there, you've got a Pro Store wind out canopy style awning. This van also comes with a freestanding awning, which uh, we don't check or guarantee, but we'll leave it with the van as well. That just connects to the, uh, to the Pro Store. Coming to the rear corner, we've got an outside gas barbecue point that's powered from your gas tank as well, so you don't need to carry gas bottles for your barbecue, you just plug it in there. Round to the back, we've got a tow bar, which would be ideal for, if you want to tow a car you can, otherwise it will take a bike rack on there. Panning up, up the top there you can see your reversing camera as well, so you've got a reversing camera on this one. Nice thing is with a van conversion, you've got your big slide inside door, you can also open up the rear doors. On a nice day like today, it's a lovely thing to do. Just lie there, maybe with your feet out in the sun, really nice. So on the rear door, you've got a little flip up drinks table for when you're lounging. And then you can see your two sofas. These are both six foot long. The big bag there, that's your freestanding awning. That's an outdoor revolution um, air beam awning. So we don't guarantee it, but we'll leave it with the van there. Sort of four or 500 quids worth, I think. It also has Another thing we don't check, but it's got a little Avtex TV up there as well. You also have a solar panel on the roof, so this battery is fully charged because of the solar panel. I've got all the lights and things on. It's a really nice place to be. Closing the rear doors, we'll come around to the, the driver's side. It's not so much down here, so we've got alloy wheels again. You can just see on the roof a little bit of your digital TV aerial. So there's nothing you'd have to add to this van. It's fully loaded. We've got a flue for your gas or mains electric powered Truma heating and hot water. Fresh water fill up point for your underslung fresh water tank. We've got an underslung, uh, an underslung, we've got an external TV socket if you're on a site with its own area, you can just plug up there. A couple of fridge vents for your three-way fridge freezer. And then your mains hook up there. So you've got mains hook up, leisure battery, and a uh, roof mounted solar panel as well. The mirrors are protected with these additional mirror guards, which are a nice thing as well. There we go, so not a mark on her outside, not a mark on her inside either. She's in incredibly nice condition. So let's jump in and have a look. So we come into the front of the van, which is also the back of the bathroom. So that's your toilet cassette locker in there. A couple of light switches that have come in. One of these is the outside awning light switch. Grab handle and a switch for your electric step. That puts itself away when you start the engine. And then we come straight into the kitchen. We've got a big three piece oven hob grill with a dual fuel gas and electric hob. Dometic extractor above that. And then a microwave on top of that as well. It's a really good kitchen space. Nice bit of worktop, Gorilla Glass cutting surface sink. Sink is immaculate as well. Storage cupboards and your fridge freezer. Three way fridge freezer in there. More cupboards there. 
Then coming around to the rear of the van, like we saw from the outside, we've got the two comfortable sofas. So you can put your feet up and relax on these during the day. And they are instant single beds, or simply slide them together for a double bed that would be oh, six foot by six foot. It's uh, super king size, if not bigger. We've got some rear speakers on the rear door there, high level cupboards, hecky roof light. We've got a flying wardrobe, as I call it. That's got the loose fit carpets in it. You can leave them at home if you're not using them. I call it a flying wardrobe because to make this able to have the six foot sofas, they've raised the wardrobe up so you can put your feet underneath of it. Functional bit of design. Into the bathroom. We've got a pretty standard wet room bathroom with a flip down sink, as you'll see in most phone conversions, is the best use of space. Then you've got a shower hose up there. And the Ort Sleeper Trademark liquid soap dispenser. You see them on all of these. And a little flip up shelf for when you're in the bathroom. That's it, really. Not a lot more to say. She's in really nice condition. She's got aircon and cruise control in the cab, mirror mounted reversing camera monitor, curtains to go around the front. And uh, that's it really, so any questions you can see this van on our website highbridgecaravans.co.uk Any questions contact us at the Devon branch through the website or give us a call. Thanks for your time. Bye bye.